Today we celebrate the life of Jean Jugen, who happened to be born in France during the Revolution, when a lot of groups of men and religious women were being suppressed by the government. She still won a lot of praise for her community's compassionate care of elderly poor people. Her father was lost at sea when she was a very young girl. Her widowed mother had to raise eight children on her own, and four died young. So, at the age of 16, Jean became a kitchen maid for a family that not only cared for its own members, but also served the poor and elderly people nearby. Ten years later, she became a nurse at a hospital there in France, and soon thereafter joined the Third Order Group founded by St. John Hughes. After six years of this, she became a servant and friend of a woman whom she met through the Third Order. They prayed, visited the poor, and taught catechism to little children. When her friend died, Jean and two other women continued a similar life in the city of saint Sifran. In 1839, they brought in their first permanent guest and began an association that received more members and more guests. Mother Marie of the Cross, as Jean was known, founded six more houses for the elderly, all staffed by members of her association called the Little Sisters of the Poor. By 1853, they numbered 500 and had houses as far away as England. The Abbe Payer, a chaplain, prevented Jean's re-election as superior in 1843, and nine years later, he had her assigned to duties within the congregation, but would not allow her to be recognized as its founder. <laughs> In 1890, the Holy See told him to hit the road and removed him from office. By the time Pope Leo XIII gave her final approval to the community's constitutions, in 1879, there were 2,400 little sisters of the poor. Jean died that same year on August the 30th. Her cause was introduced in Rome in 1970. She was beatified in 1982 and canonized in 2009 when many of you were alive for a while. God bless her, St. Jean Jugen, who th spent her whole life thinking about other people in need. That's how you become a saint. Mm.